Hey guys, hope you're doing well. In the last video, I posted, I told you guys that you guys can reach out to me uh, if you want a syllabus breakup of O level math and add math. And I was honestly extremely surprised and at the same time a bit concerned, I should say, uh, by the responses that I got. I got an overwhelming response. Uh, thousands, hundreds if not thousands of you reached out to me on Instagram asking me for the breakup and now that that's that's the happy part okay that's the part that made me really happy because I can see that you guys are concerned regarding your academics but what made me concerned was that so many of you who want to do well and want to start your preparation don't really have a direction to sort of uh, assist you and sort of help you with your preparation. So that's exactly what I'm going to do with this video. If you thought the last, if the last video really helped you out, and uh, I hope it did, then this video is going to help you out even more. So I'd suggest you watch this video till the very end because uh, I'm going to be giving you guys uh, the same syllabus breakup. This time I've uh, sort of... Uh, made the order you should be following and at the same time i've mentioned the paper in which it's tested in and at the same time i've also mentioned the difficulty level of that topic okay and i'll tell you how to go about it so uh, one thing i should say is that if you're new here i'd strongly suggest subscribing because i'm going to be posting content like this along with obviously explainer videos of the topics and yearly passwords and everything anyway so let's get straight into it here is the o-level math syllabus breakup this is the second draft the first draft is the one that i shared with you guys earlier so basically here you guys can see that I have numbered I've basically given an order as I mentioned earlier of uh, to all these topics so that if you're starting your preparation you can follow this order I should however mention that this is the best possible order according uh, as per my opinion okay I'm not saying that this is the standard order that should be followed even sometimes I deviate it I deviate from this order when I'm uh, when I'm teaching uh, personally and that that is because sometimes you want to do some paper two topics or sometimes you want to do a topic that's difficult you want to get that out of the way so that is why sometimes i deviate from these from topics like these or even when sometimes the student or my students want me to cover some important paper two topics so i do the topic that they want to want me to cover but anyway so what i've done here is you have the number you have the topic and you'll notice that this this has a link to it so what i've done here is if i have a video of this particular topic then I've attached the link to it. So all you got to do is, so for example, if you have numbers here, so if I click on numbers, then it takes me straight to um, that video. Okay. So something that should help you guys in uh, preparing. Okay. So if I have a video, you can watch the video. Now, I don't, however, guarantee that the video is going to be enough or everything that you need in order to, you know, cover that topic. So I, if you're taking help on the side, then make use of that. You have the books. If you don't have the books, again, you can reach out to me. I'll provide you guys with a soft copy. But yeah, anyway, uh, for some topics, I can uh, surely say that, yes, that's all you need. Um, my videos are enough for you to cover those topics. But anyway, for, for the topics that they're not, I'll try and uh, in the coming four or five months, make video content on it. So just to help you guys case your exams inshallah anyway then right next to it you can see that i have a key i have written paper referred to key below now i made a key for it now the key over here is basically one is for mostly paper one that means these topics are mostly mostly going to be in paper one one b is that mostly paper one but occasionally in paper two also two is mostly paper two two b is the same uh mostly paper two okay i should probably fix mostly paper two but occasionally in paper one also i just realized that anyway okay and for number three this is uh this these are topics that i really want to i really didn't want to risk so which is why i've written that they can swing either way and there are some topics like transformation vectors that they can really come in any paper okay and then i've also um mentioned the difficulty level here again this is the difficulty level defined by me it's possible that a topic that i've rated difficult over here you find it very easy. And then what I've done here is I've, I've mentioned a practice tracker. So if you've done concepts from the book, you can put a check mark here. If you've done uh, questions from the past papers, then you can put a check mark here. And then towards the end, you can sort of rate your preparation also. And this will allow you to come back and uh, look at the topics that are not up to the mark and then redo those or perhaps uh, improve your preparation in that topic. Anyway. So yeah, uh, these are these are all the changes that I've made so far. Let me know if there's something else that you want me to add to it. So I'll add to it. And again, if you want this, you can reach out to me on Instagram. I've given a link below and I will be very happy to share this with you. And this I've only done with math so far. Uh, obviously, I plan on doing the same with ad maths also. But uh, anyway, so yeah, that's that's all for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, take care. Bye bye.